Okay, would you believe me if I told you that this 3D model here, this, this character was generated from the image on the right in like a minute or two, even knowing that the character is not in T-Pose? Well, I'm going to demonstrate how to do this um, right now. So here I am at Rodin AI, and I've imported an image specifically with the character crossing his arms. So, okay, I'm, I'm going to click Generate, and I'm going to wait. And if you know about uh, anything about game development, you know that the character often has to be in a in a T pose so that you can rig and animate. So here we here we are. Rodin has done a great job of modeling the character. This is just absolutely amazing. But here's the trick: you come up to this little T A pose button, click it once, wait for a moment, and then click redo. And this this just boggles my mind. I just learned about this. It's going to recalculate and it's going to put that character in a T-pose for you. Um, geez, AI has come so far. I'm sure some of you character animators are hating on this. Look at this character. So uh, this is the preview and then I can click confirm and I can choose um, different levels of polygons, right? So lower poly. I'm, I'm going to go max. Uh, and I guess I could use this as a base mesh for a ZBrush sculpt or something and then and then I could re-topologize that later for game assets. Look at this, getting a base mesh from an image in like two or three minutes is just it boggles my, my mind. Of course, sure there's some issues here. You can look at the geometry, uh, the wireframes and such, but wow. That just blows me away. And if you do want textures you can click generate and wait for those two. The textures are kind of kind of wonky. You'd probably want to re redo those anyway. But maybe if you just wanted to do it as a visual reference for when you did it in S Substance Painter or something like that. Um, what do you guys think? I know AI is a controversial idea. A lot of uh, artists are scared of it. I understand why. Um, the fact that you can create this this base mesh from a from an image in like you know, five minutes. Just just boggles my mind. Blows me away. Okay, I'll speed this up to the image. Okay, and here we go. Definitely not so great on the face. The glasses are a little wonky, but in terms of the actual overall... Just holy... Anyway, if you have questions, let me know in the comments. As far as I can tell, this uh, Rodin AI is the best... 3d model generator from images but if you found something equally good or better please tell me i'd, I'd love to know about it because i find this stuff fascinating okay thanks